Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to show you how you can move your assets from Ethereum over to the sidechain that is known as Matic or formerly known as Matic and now Polygon. So the dApp I'm going to use to do that is Zappa. Now there are a few other ways and bridges that exist but I find Zappa is great because it's a consistent UI across all the different things it gives you access to. So I'll, I'll use Zappa and show you how it's done. And then part of this uh, later on, I'll show you some of the dApps you can then interact with. So the first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is ensure your MetaMask is set up with the right wallet, um, the settings for the Matic network, Polygon. And I've already created a tutorial around that. So if not, please do check it out. That's the first one on this playlist. The next thing I have done is I've come on over to Zappa and just connected through to the site, uh, connected my uh, Ethereum wallet, because remember, it's the same wallet address. And you can see here, it's aggregated a bit of my demo wallet, different information across various networks. And the next thing you want to do to bridge assets over to Polygon is head on over to the bridge tab. Once there, you can see clearly that it's got the network Ethereum and Polygon network. So what I want to do is I want to migrate some Matic across. So I have purchased some Matic and I will, I'll move it all. This I'd init, intentionally purchased a little bit of Matic so I can move it across to the uh, side chain Polygon. Now part of this you have to pick the token on that network as well and luckily gas prices are hovering quite cheap at the moment so that's why I wanted to create this tutorial and thought to do it so there we go you've added in which token now you can migrate uh, USDC, DAI, whichever token you want to but the fees of uh, on the Matic network when you're using transactions you're paying for it via Matic now on various other tutorials I understand you get a little bit of Matic when you deposit to the network and it detects that it's the address first time but just to be safe and not have my funds sitting there and I can't do anything with it the first thing I'm going to do is transfer some Matic because that's what fuels the Polygon network. Now we'll hit confirm and it will load up your MetaMask with some gas fees excellent I will pay that and you can see down here that it is bridging. Now few things to call out over here if it's your first time or second time it will take some time this this transaction itself will take a little bit bit of time to process and once it's done i noticed i had to wait at least 10 minutes before it appeared on the polygon network even though the transaction it moved the funds off my ethereum network now during this time do not panic stay calm just be patient and it will be there trust me I went through all those feelings and it did arrive in the end so nothing to worry about there so let's give it a moment to process and after a little while as you can see it is giving you success now just another point to call out as soon as it gives you success the confirm button comes through so uh, don't click on it because you've already done it it just takes a little bit of time as you saw for the UI to update okay great now that's done now head on over to the network that's currently sitting on Ethereum and let's swap that over to Polygon you can see it's it prompts you now when you're switching from Ethereum to Polygon MetaMask will load up but when you go back the other way when you want to look back on Ethereum it you have to manually change that just a call out so I'll switch this over here and you can see straight away it's changed you can see I'm on polygon however I've noticed at the moment Zappa doesn't aggregate everything in the polygon wallet but what it does do is if you use for example the exchange you can see at the moment I still don't have my updated balance so I've got to give it some time this is where you just go for a walk or wait around until this has come through And after a little while, there you go. You can see just before I had one and now the transfer has come through. It probably took around a solid eight to 10 minutes before it appeared on the Polygon network. And now I have my Matic there. Now to give you an idea, 
all of a sudden you now can start using dApps that are running on the Matic network. In a good example, I believe this is a fork of Uniswap. So at the moment I've only migrated Matic, but I could move some DAI or USDC. And to give you an idea, say if I were to swap using this uh, one of my Matic tokens to uh, a DAI, Let's just, I'm, I'm going to do this because I want to show terms of fees. Um, let's swap, it's currently, let's accept that. And you can see it's currently looking at a, a liquidity provider fee here. So let's confirm this swap and let's see how quick this is. So oh, just can leave it as one. Great, it's doing a conversion. Done. You can see the reason we're using this is ridiculously cheap fees and everything you can do on Ethereum. So uh, when the gas is cheap, if these are the sorts of dApps you use, uh, it, it could be a good, in your best interest, to migrate uh, across to Polygon, a, a sidechain. Now, to give you more context, you know, uh, we've seen some big dApps migrating across one inch Aave. Here you can see I have Aave loaded up. So instantly, if I have, which I do have some DAI now, I can actually show you um, currently on the Polygon network, if you deposit DAI, you're getting an interest rate of 2.84. And on top of that, you are mining the Matic token. So uh, it may be quite handy. So I haven't covered a tutorial on Aave, but I'm assuming if you're trying to bridge across, you know how to use some of these dApps. So here's a great example of where I can um, deposit my DAI. Hit continue. And it's quite a quick approve. Transaction fee, we know it's peanuts. Give it a moment. So again, that that side chain is cheap. And yes, there's two transactions on this as well. It's quick, you don't have to worry about fees, something that in the earlier days of Ethereum you didn't have to worry about. So you're getting that back on a side chain like Polygon that is ensuring it's compatible gets its layer, you know, base security from Ethereum, which is a huge deal. And you can see here that I have deposited and my $1 and I am earning interest um, currently on this platform. And you can see already over here, I have a bit of a reward waiting for me. So uh, I can claim it or I'll just wait, which is barely anything and I don't want to claim it just yet. But I hope this has helped show you how you can migrate your assets from Ethereum onto the side chain of Polygon and once you're there what you can actually do with it. I've just covered a couple of dApps but there's a booming ecosystem of migration dApps that are coming to Polygon so you can start doing more and more with this side chain. Again if you like my content want to see anything in particular um, me want me to break down any particular dApps across any ecosystems please let me know I'll do some research and create a tutorial around it. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you can. That'll be great. Thank you.